in at right half forward. Good defending by Donny Gaul. Look for Mark McHughes. He's wearing 10. And he's almost operating as a cornerback. As part of the blanket defence that Donny Gaul have employed. Still, both teams adapting. As we mentioned earlier about Kildare having a two-man full forward line, Donny Gaul are doing the same. With McGrearty and McFadden being the two up front for the Ulster champions. Robert Cullen. Again, Anthony Thompson reads it well. Doesn't have any luck though in gaining the possession. Eamon Calla under pressure from McFadden. Neil Galla, McFadden calls. Capable of scoring from a little bit further out. Carried a little bit too much. That's a good ball across the face of the goal. David Walsh was in there. Shane Connolly comes off his goal line. Otto Flaherty. John Doyle. Moss O'Connor. Back out for Arizona Flaherty. Coming in with a hefty challenge. Rory Kavner. Here's the ball from McFadden. Wasn't really going anywhere. Didn't think it was the best option myself. Tidied up by the Kildare defence. Brian Flanagan. The long ball is aimed at O'Connor. Neil Gallagher helping out his defence. Mark McHugh. Hegarty. Is he charging or was he fouled? Referee feels the latter is the correct call. Yeah, it's Emmett Bolton in really tight. He gets the bounce this time. He won't be getting all those calls in his own favour. He gets lucky this time to a certain degree. Bolton was putting a lot of pressure on the ball and on the player. It just uh, got caught. Neil Gallagher. Paddy McGrath from our drive. Over Carricks. Free for Kildare. Morgan O'Flaherty. To his brother Owen. Eamon Callahan. Tori O'Neill from the St. Lawrence's Club. Aiming at Tommaso Connor. The referee, as you saw geographically, was very well positioned. He gave the benefit of the doubt to Neil McGee. Now, who was fouling who here? It was a push by the Kildare full forward. It was, but he's a very powerful player, and I'll suggest all those calls won't go against him either throughout the match. The bounce goes with Donegal again. Very interesting that Donegal are putting such a high line uh, of pressure on Kildare when they're bringing it in. They're letting it bring it so far and no further. Rory Kavner. Mark McHugh. Good control under pressure from Darrell Flynn. Sideline ball decision. Favour the Ulster champions. We've had 18 minutes of fairly good action, Kevin. I know there's only four points on the scoreboard, evenly divided. But it's interesting, isn't it? But the low score was always going to be the nature of it. It's the tactical battle that's going on, which is fascinating to a certain degree, but I don't think scores are going to be a big feature of it. Michael Hegarty. Mark McHugh has gone into the corner. Hugh McGrilla seemed to have fouled. Comes back to McFadden. Easy ball for Shane Connell. Ono Flaherty. Into the centre. Corey O'Neill. Darrell Flynn. Positions mean absolutely nothing here. Michael Foley lays it off as Morgan O'Flaherty. Crossfield ball missed. And Dunny Goal. Take up the run. Frank McGlenn from Glen Finn. Between Valley Buffet and the Glentics. Kenny McGrath, the left corner back. Good defending by Michael Foley. Darrell Flynn over towards Andrew McLaughlin.
It's been a while, actually, since either of these two teams scored, hasn't it? Robert Kelly lays it off to Owen O'Flaherty. Looking for O'Connor. Cool under pressure, Kildare. Johnny Doyle. Ball floating in. It's curling over the bar. Off the boot of Corey O'Neill. It's a fantastic kick. That is from distance coming across the ball. And drops just over the crossbar. What a kick. What a point. Johnny Doyle Marty really hasn't featured in the first uh, 20 minutes on and that uh, belt he got just on the throw and seems to be hampered he's gone uh, into the forward line maybe taking a rest Neil Gallagher Mark McHugh Tony Gore counteracting that uh, slow build up doing exactly the same thing themselves he was a bit optimistic and Robert Kelly corner forward playing left corner back as I mentioned positions and jerseys on back of hey, players hey. <laughs> mean absolutely nothing Eamon Carr <laughs> Brian Flanagan Johnstown's bridge Hugh McGrill capable of scoring a point as he did the last one well won on this particular occasion by Neil McGee from Guido, comes instead to Owner Flaherty, going for his hat-trick of points. Owner Flaherty is the top scorer for Kildare. Two points from play, one from a free, and the Lily Whites go two up. A brilliant work by Tomas Connor. That ball that came in was an ugly one, very much 50-50, and yet he contested and broke it back out to Flaherty. He picked up the crumbs moved it in a wee bit and curled it over. And they're the small little plays that can make a big difference. Fair play to O'Connor. He went wholehearted for the ball when there wasn't a whole lot in it for him. Morgan O'Flaherty. Darrell Flynn. Long ball for O'Connor, just going astray. Ryan Bradley had a fine game in the Division 2 final here at Crook Park. Back in the spring. Neil Galla lays it off to Patrick McBrearty. Deadly on the left. Andrew McLaughlin comes in with the late challenge. Referee doesn't blow his whistle. Umpire says it's white. This is all, this is all about timing. No, I think that's good enough. He's putting pressure on the shooter. Interesting. When they met in the Allianz National Football League at half time, it was Kildare three points, Donegal three points. So the game, the tactical game being played by both managers, having an influence. And yet, despite the blanket defence, two man full forward line, I have to say it's an enjoyable enough game of football. Paddy McGrath goes forward and lays it off first, Michael Hegarty. Back to McGrath again. Played that under-21 All-Ireland final with a broken jaw against Dublin last year. McGrath. Interesting, as we look down the sideline, Michael Murphy was uh, warming up. Meanwhile, on the pitch, it's Ryan Bradley. McQuirt, Kevin Cassidy, ball is strong, easily got it, and Johnny Doyle comes away with it. Ola Flaherty goes long again to O'Connor and Kavda, but they get their signals all mixed up. Neil Gallagher, Ryan Bradley. Duncan Robert Cap back to Finn McFadden David Watch 
effort is rather poor. Easy ball for Shane Connolly. Eamon Calla. Brian Flanagan. Further information on your screen. Eamon Calla seeks out James Kavner, but you can see that they're finding it difficult to use that long ball. It has to be inch perfect. McHugh lays it off to the outrushing Frank McGlenn. Carl Lacey gets by the challenge of Flanagan. Hugh McGrillan stands between the goalposts. Oh, a lovely layout. There's a chance for McHugh. He scored against Antrim. Brilliant save by Connolly. Here's Neil Gallagher. Back to Mark Hugh. Chance here. Ryan Bradley. Ball is sent wide. There was an opportunity of a goal here. The layoff by David Walsh was beautiful. Here was McHugh. And Connolly was well off his line. The goalkeeper did really well. It's a great chance. But unfortunately for McHugh, he shoots it straight at the keeper. A double substitution by Jim McGuinness in the tactical game that's unfolding. Eamon McGee is coming on. So too is their main man, the captain, Michael Murphy. Didn't start, but now he's coming on. Patrick McBrearty. There was a rumour that I heard in Donegal that he may not start. Didn't perform all that well against Tyrone or against Derry. So it's a st strange and unusual decision by Jim McGuinness. Kevin? Well, as the lads were saying, if it's hamstring for Murphy and, the, and he breaks down, the uh, chattering classes in Donegal will have something to say about it. But he obviously knows a little bit more than we do about it. He's a big part of, of the scene. But they're taking also off, remember, Paddy McGrath in, as part of it. Didn't think he was struggling so much. It's a big call. It's a very big call by Jim McGuinness. And while we always credit Kieran McGuinney with his tactical astuteness, we wonder about Jim McGuinness. And this is a talking point. I'm sure it'll be great if, if Donegal win, but if they lose... Well, they're the calls, and that's what uh, managers live and die on. But I might say that Donegal didn't have a, a focal point to a certain degree. And uh, that's why Murphy might be. And going back to the goal chance, beautiful touch. That it opens the defence. He might have pulled back inside there, just there, pulled back, take the defender out of it, and then he's got one and one. But the defender puts a nice bit of heat on the shot, but it's a good save. So Michael Murphy is going into that two-man full forward line with Colin McFadden. He's a man who has scored a goal and eight points in the campaign so far. Scored 1-2 in the Ulster final. We're watching as well Michael Hegarty with uh, Dr. Uh, Charlie McManus and Leitrim man ensuring there with the uh, team physio, J.D. McGregor. But uh, Hegarty is able to continue on. And also, Marty, don't be a bit surprised if McBrearty features again in the second half. You know, he was doing pretty decent. He had a, had a couple of shots on, tar on target. Uh, you know, not having his greatest game ever but he might feature yet he's a very fine player just an update on the weather here by the way in Crook Park it's a beautiful evening and at pitch level not a puff of wind ideal for Gaelic football perfect laying it off Ryan Bradley this is swinging left goalkeeper Connolly decides to come off his line feeds Eamon Callaghan Goes for distance to Johnny Daw. Confronted by McFadden and David Watch. Goes back to Hugh McGrilla. Selbridge back. Robert Kelly from Strathall. James Cavner is the target. Flicks one nicely inside to Brian Flanagan. The cross was probably the only option available. And picked up instead by Ryan Bradley. Neil Gallagher. Anthony Thompson scored two points in the Ulster final. Good anticipation in defending, this time by Morgan O'Flaherty. Porrig O'Neill, score of a point in this 
interesting opening half of this All-Ireland quarter-final. First tomorrow here in Croke Park.